Welcome to Barnstable Today. I'm Nick Cortese. And I'm Kevin Friel. We'd like to remind you right at the top that the meetings we cover are available on demand at the town's website. You can log on at www.town.barnstable.ma.us. The Barnstable Town Council meets May 6th. Right now on Barnstable Today, we're pleased to bring you an interview with Assistant Town Manager Tom Lynch. He'll lend you his insight and perspective on Thursday night's meeting. Well, we're very pleased to join Tom again here in the Assistant Town Manager's office. Tom, we have the May 6th Town Council uh, meeting coming up. First of all, everybody on everybody's minds is the budget, the budget that's coming up, it's coming down the line. Uh, why don't you just set out what the timeline is for the budget? Sure. As you know, we've been working uh, very diligently over the past several months on putting the budget together. And now that uh, it's been in its final form from the administrative side, it'll be given to the town council so they can begin uh, looking over it. But it'll be introduced um, on May 20th, and that'll be the first reading um, of the budget. And at the same time, um, we'll begin our workshops. So the workshops will start on uh, May 20th, and then the uh, town manager and the, and the uh, council president have kind of cleared the decks for the next three meetings in June to both finish the workshops and begin deliberation on the budget and try to focus uh, on, on, on just that issue because it's such an important issue for the town. Very good. Now, um, be that as is may, we will certainly discuss it on Barnstable today, more down the line. Um, it's something that we certainly will get a lot of attention here from us as well. Um, I'd like to now talk about the Martin J. Flynn Scholarship. Now, this is going to be a presentation. Yes, on uh, on on uh, May six uh, is the uh, when the meeting starts. Um, uh, Len Gobiel, is, who's the has helped coordinate that uh, that effort, um, will be announcing eleven scholarship um, winners and um, introducing them if they're there and explaining how citizens can contribute to the Martin J. Flynn uh, Scholarship Fund uh, through a checkoff box uh, on their taxes and how this money is given out annually um, to students. Uh, Marty Flynn was a, a very popular uh, uh, selectman in town and, and pushed education, pushed you know um, uh, things for kids to do. He also later served as a state appointee on the Housing Authority and um, but uh, he and Shirley were both very active in the town and um, this checkoff system was created and named after him. Very good. One thing that I do know about the Martin uh, J. Flynn Scholarship is that it's not just for those um, high school students who are just graduating, uh, also folks who are town of Barnesville residents who are uh, year one or two exactly. or three can, can reapply to the fund and receive some assistance. An excellent point because a lot of scholarships kind of end with you know the senior year in, in high school and this one uh, does continue on. And for some of us, like <clears throat> my bills kind of go right through the you know the mortgage company or whatever and I really get a chance to check off so I'll actually go down and you know make a donation to the scholarship fund right at the tax office so it's another way citizens uh, who want to give you know a little bit of money to help out with that cause can do that year round. Very good so more on that from Len Gobiel at Thursday night's town yes. council meeting. Okay now let's get into the uh, the general agenda of the town council. Now this is something that we've talked about before. You're talking about opening a gift account at the Highness Youth and Community Center. Could you just speak about uh, that item? That's so that individuals who want to donate or programs that you start up if you want to do something a specific program and there are gifts for it, that there's a separate account that that can go into. It is controlled and that if there are going to be expenditures out of the out of it they get approved by the, the town council. But um, this is an opportunity to accept uh, gifts that people want to make to the uh, running of that operation. Well, very good. Now let's talk about some capital improvement projects. Uh, there are two items here. One is for the uh, West Barnstable Elementary School. One is for the Centerville Elementary School. And I'd like to get into some details sure. of those. Uh, we finished the capital plan as it related to municipal government at the last town council meeting. Uh, schools were put off till. Uh, Thursday night, so on May 6th, they'll have their chance to uh, look for their dollars. The first item they have is Bonsal West Bonsal and Centerville Elementary School parking lots are in, in uh, disrepair, and uh, they're appropriating $250,000 uh, for that. Okay, now let's talk about, uh, there's another gift that's from uh, well, two I, residents. Oh, I'm sorry. Before we go to the gift, the, the big, the big oh, item they also have is they've got a $680,000 uh, appropriation, and that's going to cover window replacement, um, uh, some boiler replacement, there's um, uh, 
uh, other upgrades uh, to uh, heating and ventilation um, systems. There are some um, electrical upgrades uh, to buildings, and they'll outline all of the school buildings that these take uh, place, and then just some general painting. And uh, so the schools have been very proactive in trying to keep their properties up, and, and uh, this will be an effort to uh, spend that money on those items. Okay. Now, uh, sorry to jump sure. the gun a yeah, little bit on that. Fine. I totally skipped it. But now let's just talk about, there's a gift from a couple residents um, for the HYCC, which is um, some sort of wishing well type yeah, thing. Yeah, a, a couple of residents want to you know, put the wishing well and you put a quarter, you watch it go down. It helps fund various uh, programs, youth youth programs over there. So that money would go into the gift account we talked uh, ahead of time. We appreciate Mr. Pina and uh, Mr. Matthews. Uh, uh, gift to the town. Very good. Now, the last item of old business is uh, for uh, open space and recreation from the Community Preservation Fund. That's ten thousand dollars. Tell us about where the money is for. That money has been um, vetted through the uh, community, community Preservation Committee. They'll be presenting uh, to the council if they'd like to spend this money uh, over the Luke's Love uh, project that's uh, over in West Ponce, which is a barrier-free playground uh, for disabled and and. Uh, and, and all children. Yeah, there's been some uh, talk in the newspapers about it. They need to pave the parking lot in order. They've for done a lot of fundraising. They're yeah. getting down uh, to the nitty gritty of they'd like to open it, and uh, there is this parking, road and parking issue. So they're still about $15,000 short. We've been looking at various programs they might qualify for and recommending other grant opportunities to them. Very good. Okay, now we're going to talk about some new business. Now, some of these items aren't going to be discussed, they'll just be referred to a public hearings or referred to the planning board. Now, the, the one item that's gotten a lot of attention, it was a, it was an editorial in the paper the other day, I believe, um, is about uh, amending the zoning ordinance for signs in the town of Barnstable. Why don't you talk about this one for well, us? Well, the, the, the sign code rests with the council. They spent about 10 years getting the last one through, so they were working off their existing um, sign code. And um, the planning board um, has put forth amendments to that to allow for certain A-frames and and banners and, and under a special permit process and the the idea would be that that would first come to the um, uh, to the council they'll refer it back to the planning board they'll have a hearing on May 25th right now any, any amendments to the sign code would be covering uh, the Main Street business district so that'll be the first foray uh, into this and um, it, it, it is controversial because people have different ideas of what sort of signage should be where, and um, uh, the Highness Main Street Waterfront Historic District has, you know, thoughts about it. We hope they'll be at the um, uh, the 24th to help discuss this and and work it through the planning board process and get something back to the council uh, for the upcoming season. Also, the Barnstable Town Council may act upon a grant from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security in the amount of forty two thousand dollars. The Barnstable Police Department will use the money to fund a domestic violence victim services specialist. The council will also consider reaffirming appointments to the Housing Growth and Development Trust Fund. Now let's take a look at this week's remaining meetings. On Wednesday, May 5th, the Highness Main Street Waterfront Historic District Commission meets in the Selectman's Conference Room at 7 o'clock. And then on Thursday, May 6th, at 7 p.m., the Town Council meets in the Town Hall Hearing Room. Well, that's all for now. For Kevin Friel, I'm Nick Cortese. We'll see you next time on Barnstable Today.